Hi parents, welcome to Gift Wale. This is part 3 of the Toddler and Infant Developmental Series by me, Aishwarya, a Montessori guide, teacher and consultant. Hello everyone, I'm Aishwarya Dwarakanath from Eds Up Montessori and I teach I Learn. I love talking about children, about early education and Montessori. So very often when parents talk to me or, or reach out to me, they ask, how do I set up a space for the child at home? Let me talk to you about two kinds of spaces today. One for the infant baby and the second for the toddler or the preschooler. Very often you will find in Montessori homes that babies are not put in a cot or a bassinet, but rather on a soft mattress, which is called as a floor bed. This mattress allows the baby to move about their limbs freely and is not restrictive and feels more comforting for the child. As they grow older, an older toddler will be able to get down from this floor bed all by themselves. Remember that the baby's sleeping space should not be the same as the space where you hang mobiles for them to look at or give them little toys to grasp and pull because when they're actively looking at those mobiles over their head, they're actually actively involved in focusing on those movements of those tiny little figurines above their head. And this kind of active involvement might affect their sleep or if they're sleepy and continue to see the mobiles, they get fussy. I'm now going to tell you about a couple of mobiles that you might see in a Montessori home for a newborn baby. Between 0 to 2 months, a high contrast Munari mobile is hung. This has shapes in black and white. Why? Because the child is not yet ready to see colors in the color spectrum. They can only see high contrast images. They are also able to see only to a distance of, distance of about 12 inches. Exactly the same distance as the child's feeding position to the mother's eyes which are in high contrast. This mobile allows the child to focus on the simple movement of the mobile when there is a little bit of wind around. Around three months, the octahedron mobile introduces the primary colors in a beautiful way where the light gleams off the surface and the baby is now able to see sharper colors like red and blue. Soon after, the child is able to see all the colors in the spectrum and that's when the beautiful gobby mobile is introduced which has woolen balls of different shades of the same color hung in a row above the child. The color gradation is so beautiful and so pleasing for the little one. Then we have the dancers mobile, where the different limbs of the little dancers also move. And this is very fascinating for a little one who's looking at things moving around, notices the light reflecting in different ways and wonders, oh, is this the same object that I saw before? <laughs> After this, it's also a good idea to introduce object permanence. A simple game of peekaboo where something appears and disappears before the baby is actually quite good for them. After a while, you're soon going to have a toddler around the age of one and a half to two who loves moving around. What kind of a space do you have to create for them? Place a very small number of toys whose objectives include visual tracking, fine motor movement, object permanence, maybe putting a ball inside a box, it disappears and appears again. So these kind of activities, just pick four or five and place it in a level that they can take themselves and put it back easily. Do not overstimulate the child with a lot of activities. That's going to mean a lot of mess for you too. Toddlers love to move around while they work. So they may work at the shelf itself or they may pull it down and start working. You could start suggesting that they have a specific work area when they pull things off the shelf, like a little mat. Make sure that it is the child's choice which is respected and when they are doing an activity, do not interfere with your hands. And remember that you are a big part of their space as well. Activities that foster connection, language development between you both are very important for the child's development. If you're looking for all of these mobiles and grasping activities for toddlers and infants and object permanence boxes or all of these puzzling things that I told you, 
look no further just go to giftwale.com search all of these activities by age between 0 to 1 or 1 to 2 or even by skills they have plenty of activities for children of all age groups in different skills and most importantly from really good manufacturers shop online on their website giftwale.com bye